What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about combining the extensions Placemaker and Profile Builder. And uh, some of the things you can do, some of the ways that Profile Builder can make your life easier once you've created a city model using Placemaker. Um, I do want to note these two extensions are on sale through, I believe, uh, November 26th. So if you do happen to watch this video during that time, make sure you check that out along with the other deals that are going on at the sketchupessentials.com slash Black Friday. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so Placemaker, as a lot of you know, is the single click city building extension, meaning what it does is it'll build a city based on um, a map data that you bring in. So like, for example, this is a map of downtown Denver that I've brought in. And you can see how it'll generate things like paths and roads and trees and everything else. So I have this area over here. Um, if I was to run Placemaker and to bring in the roads, for example, what it would do when I select this face is it would come in here and it would generate the roads based on map data from OpenStreetMap. So it makes creating things like cities really easy. So you can see how you could use this tool to create cities in a fraction of the amount of time that uh, it would normally take if you were just modeling everything manually. So that's one of the powerful things about that extension. And then one of the other things about it, because um, you can see how this brings in things like trees and paths and everything else. And then then what you can do is you can use an extension like Profile Builder in order to uh to add new things to your scene, especially kind of repetitive things. And so what I'm going to do in this case, and I will know, I think Placemaker is like 50% off or something like that this weekend. Um, if you come in here and you really zoom in, you can see how all this really does is it brings in some 2D trees and it also generates some lines on the ground. And what we could do in this case is we could use the extension Profile Builder also for Mindsight Studios in order to add some repetitive things. So like, let's say for example, we wanted to add some light poles in here. What we could do is we could go to File, 3D Warehouse, and find a light pole, like this one from SketchUp, for example, and you could download that into your model. And let's say you wanted to have a series of these running along the road, and I'm going to go ahead and rotate this so that it's pointing the right direction. But let's say you wanted a bunch of these running along this road. You could definitely use the Move tool in Copy Mode. And I'm going to turn on Profiles just so you can see this a little bit better. Um, but if you wanted to, you could use the Move tool in Copy Mode in order to create a bunch of copies between here and here. So we could do like divided by, let's say, 5 or something like that. But the problem is once those are made, if you wanted to move them around, you really couldn't do that because they're, they're already placed. So you would have to undo and redo and all of that. And what you could do instead is let's say you wanted to run a series of lines all the way from, we'll say this point to this point. Um, what you could do is you could use Profile Builder in order to create an assembly that would repeat those along that line. So I would select that line like this and we could go ahead and open the assembly dialog and we could create an assembly. And so all this would be is this would be a very simple assembly like this one where we would just go into the component tab, add a component, and we would just click the button for pick from model and we would select this component. And so what that does is that creates an assembly where it repeats these lights. Well now I could select this line, select the option for build along path and that would add these in here and you can see how that's far too many we probably only want these every 40 feet or something like that so we could go in here and we could adjust our spacing and then select this assembly and we could update it now it update this so these are spaced 40 feet and so the powerful thing about this though is not only could you do this here let's say that you also wanted to do this along this path. So let's see, we were to select this along here and we'll go ahead and erase out our original just for the sake of this demonstration. You could actually select multiple paths like this and you could run this and you can see how this would actually place those lights along that path. And the other powerful thing about that is let's say for example that you wanted to adjust that spacing, like let's say you wanted these every 50 feet instead of every 40 feet. You could just select these two assemblies because they were created with Profile Builder and you could just change the spacing of the assembly to 50 feet. And then you could just click the apply um, apply assembly attributes and this would recreate this spacing. So you can see how that whole, that whole group of things that you have selected in here um, along both of these paths can be 
adjusted. So this is no longer just you've created the lights and you have to erase the lights if you want to change the spacing. You can actually change the spacing after the fact with things created by Profile Builder. And that allows you to do some interesting things. Like let's say, for example, we had a five foot by one foot stripe. And we'll go ahead and we'll give this just a tad bit of thickness. I know it's not super realistic, but we wanted to show up on this face. But we could go ahead and we could make this a group. And we'll create a new assembly. You can go ahead and save that assembly for reuse if you want. But we could create a new assembly containing this stripe. And we need to make it a component, not a group. But we could create a new assembly using the stripe, and we could actually add striping to our street. So let's say I drew a line like this just so I could find the middle. And we'll go ahead and continue this down here. But now if you wanted to, you could easily add striping to your roads and other things like that. So just having the ability to adjust different assemblies and add different assemblies can be really valuable. And we could adjust the offset on this to six inches so that it's centered on this line. And then you could erase out your path and you can see how you can easily create things like this striping really easily. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Um, leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. Can you think of some great uses for these extensions? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.